Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the 1876 Mauger Quadruplet Playing Cards Restoration. Uh, this was a Kickstarter project. There was five different versions of this deck. Okay, so even though there's five different versions of this deck, there was really only five different versions of the tuck case and packaging. Uh, the cards on the inside uh, were the same from deck to deck. And so uh, I left a few of my decks still wrapped in the sealed paper that they came with. Part of the cool factor of this uh, restoration project was that a few of the decks would be wrapped in paper with vintage tuck seals, and I left mine that way to preserve them and their collectability, and so we won't be looking at those decks. Uh, who's Victor Malger? Uh, he was born in England, and he came to New York uh, in 1855. He started a business uh, importing metal goods, and so then around 1870, he also began importing playing cards from England. So the Goodall Company began making special decks with unique aces of spades for uh, America. And then by 1873, Malger started to manufacture his own brand of playing cards. And he did that to supplement his supply. And then he altogether dropped uh, Goodall in 1876 due to just you know high imports. So his deck, printed in 1876, was the Centennial Exposition deck. And it's thought to be the first deck to ever commemorate a fair. They were made in conjunction with the World's Fair in Philadelphia, and the deck also commemorates the 100th year anniversary of the signing of the Declaration of Independence. Like I said, with this Kickstarter project, there was five different versions of this deck. There was the United States Playing Card Company standard blueback with the white box, which is what this one is. There's United States Playing Card Company Limited. Uh, they only did a thousand of those. Uh, it had a blue back and it came in a different tuck case, but we won't be looking at that one. Uh, there was the Malgar Replica, which has a red back. There's the Malgar Limited, which was a thousand run again. It was red back and that one's wrapped in paper. And then there's the Malgar Original, release. That one was also limited to 500 decks and that one had a red back as well. This deck here, the standard, uh, this was printed, like I said, from the United States Playing Card Company. It has a linen finish. These are standard poker size cards and it does have a custom replica sticker right there, as does all of them. Uh, there's 56 cards in this. There's one original Joker and one double back and two gaff cards. As you can see on the tuck case, it says American Playing Cards and it has the Victor Malger symbol right there. It says Victor Malger New York at the bottom and it says 1776 Centennial. Uh, it does also say uh, 1776 Centennial on the side, Victor E. Malger on the back, and then it has uh, his branding right there on the back. Um, that is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. All right, so I have a sample of both the blue back and the red back. Uh, this is the blue back right here. This is the standard and it has a uh, flower design and it's inside of a frame. And like I said, this is a restoration project. And so what Michael Scott is trying to do is recreate the decks, how they looked originally when they were released. He's not trying to add any flowery items. He's not trying to uh, create his own look or his own brand. He's simply trying to restore a deck of cards that once existed. This is a look at the red back. You can also see that it too has kind of a, a flower pattern, but it's more grid-like. And then uh, there's that diamond shape there in the center. The decorative ace of spades has dates on it, both 1776 and 1876. Uh, these two dates commemorate the 100th year anniversary of the signing of the Declaration of Independence. It also has some Latin words there, uh, also on the tuck case. Uh, it's, I believe it's pronounced Nequarium Restrium, which translates to no revoke or never retreat. The single joker in this deck depicts uh, George L. Fox. He was a popular actor and a dancer. He became well known for his pantomime uh, clown act of Humpty Dumpty. Um, Fox was also enlisted as the lieutenant in the 8th New York Infantry. When the Civil War broke out, he eventually earned the rank of major and was involved in the first battle of Bull Run. So after the war, he enjoyed great acting success. Uh, he starred in A Midsummer's Night's Dream but like I said, he's most famous for his role as Humpty Dumpty. Also with this deck, you're gonna get a, a description card that tells you a little bit about the restoration project. Like I said in the beginning, uh, these cards are quadruplet, which means that the pips and indices are in all four corners. Because this is the restoration project, the uh, pips, indices, and the court cards are all gonna have the original vintage look. Another part of the project that wasn't actually a, a recreation, but was a new item, uh, was this uh, metal Ace of Spades. 
this is the Ace of Spades from the deck, and then on the back, there's actually your number, uh, what it was in the series, so mine is 297 out of 1,000. And so this was a nice uh, little addition for all of the backers. Well, that is it for this review of the 1876 Malgar Quadruplet Playing Cards Restoration Project. As always, we recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. Now, if you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magicorthodoxy, twitter.com slash magicorthodoxy, and instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy.